Hi, this is Jane at the Tahlequah Public Library, and we're here for some quick looks at some staff recommendations this time. The first one is called American Dirt, and it's actually the library book club read for September. And if you didn't know, the library does have a, a book club. It's called Books and Gab. It meets the second Friday of every month at 10 a.m. at the library. And like I said, this month, the book that we're reading is called American Dirt, and we'll be discussing that book in October. It's by a lady named Janine Cummins and it's about a woman named Lydia and her eight-year-old son Luca. They live in Acapulco where Lydia runs a bookstore and she's married to an investigative journalist who decides to write a tell-all story about Javier and he is the head of a Mexican drug cartel. Well he's warned off of writing the article for the newspaper but he does it anyway and so one day Lydia and her family are at a big family get-together in Acapulco and the cartel comes after them and uh, something really bad happens. They, uh, most of the people in her family are killed, but she and her son manage to survive and they flee through Mexico to try to reach the United States where Lydia feels that she and her son, especially her son, will be safe. So the book follows Lydia and Luca and their experiences and the people that they meet as they travel north through Mexico by rail, by foot, trying to reach the United States. I've only read three chapters of this book, but they were pretty harrowing, they were pretty intense, I mean a little frightening and pretty emotional. Uh, it's very fast moving, it has a strong female protagonist, I can tell that I'm going to like it already. This novel is available at the library in standard print, in large print, and as well as on audio from Hoopla and Libby, and it's also available as an ebook on Libby. And like I said, you're welcome to read the book and come to the library book club if you would like to. The other book recommendation by a staff member at the library is the Seven Sisters series by Lucinda Riley. This is the first book in the series. It's called Seven Sisters. And the series was highly recommended by a member of the library staff. It is seven books altogether. The last one was just published in May 2021. So this series is about seven sisters who were adopted as babies by a very wealthy man. So six of these sisters are gathered together at their childhood home in Switzerland because their father has died and he leaves each one of these women a letter with a clue to their heritage and their past. So each book takes place not only in a contemporary setting, but also goes back into the ancestry and the heritage of each one of their, these women and their histories. And so each person, each lady goes to uh, a different place to find out about their past and where they came from. And then there's also kind of a mystery of why were they adopted by this man, his name is Pa Saul. why were they adopted by this man in, in the first place, and who is the seventh sister? So the seventh sister isn't in the book, they know about her existence, but they don't know who she is yet. The books are set in various locations throughout the world, from Switzerland to South America, Rio de Janeiro in South America, to Africa, to Australia, so it goes all over the world. The staff member who recommends these said she liked some of the sisters, personalities and their stories better than others just like it is with most things but overall really like these stories and the ways that the sisters changed as they found out more and more about their past and their histories. She listened to the first six books on audio through Hoopla and she's waiting on book seven to listen to through Hoopla 2 but since it's brand new it just got published in May it hasn't come on Hoopla yet in audio but it is available to check out as a regular book if you'd like to do that. Um, eventually it probably will be on on uh, Hoopla as an audio since all the other ones are. There's also supposedly going to be an eighth book in this series about the adoptive father himself, Pa Salt, and that won't be coming out till next year. Unfortunately, the author of these books, Lucinda Riley, passed away recently, and so that eighth book is actually going to be written by her family members based on notes that she left. So if you like the Seven Sisters series, you might want to keep your eye out for that eighth book. If you like historical fiction mixed with some contemporary fiction, a little bit of mystery and travel, then you might want to give this series a, uh, a try. Like I said, it really was highly recommended by a member of the library staff. And now for the third book recommendation, I'm going to turn it over to Jaren and she will pick a book out for you. 
Hello everyone, so today I'm going to talk about one of my favorite books that's been published recently and that is the book Catherine House by Elizabeth Thomas. It was published in May of 2020 and is the author's very first book. So if you missed it because of all the pandemic craziness, I highly recommend that you check it out. In this book we follow our main character Ines as she attends an elite private college in the Pennsylvania backwoods. At this college everything is free. You don't pay for your room or board, tuition, nothing. But there are two stipulations. The first stipulation is that you cannot leave the campus during the three years that you attend. And on top of that, you cannot have any contact with the outside world. It's just you in the school for three years. So at the school, there's kids from all different kinds of backgrounds. Because it's free, some of the students are attending because they're having money or family issues. Because it is an elite private college, some students are attending because of the prestige and the curriculum. And then finally, some of the students like Ines are fleeing to the school from their past since no outsiders are allowed on campus. So as we follow Ines around, we watch her as she attends classes and interacts with her friends. But slowly she starts to notice that the upperclassmen and the faculty seem to be guarding some sort of secret. So we get to watch her as she explores and pokes her nose into all the places that the other members of the school don't really want her getting into. So this book is definitely very mysterious. It's also very dark, very tense. And I would say it's a slow to medium read. This book is great for fans of gothic literature, dark academia. If you're into surrealist film and literature, I recommend giving this a shot. There's definitely a lot to think about. By the time you finish this book, not all of your questions are going to be answered. There's definitely a lot left up to your imagination and for you to figure out on your own. So I highly recommend it. Check it out and if you do, stop by the library and let me know what you think. And that's it for Quick Looks. Uh, we'll see you next time. Bye!